Bob Marley one little movie come out, come out the other day in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. All of the politicians, them in them glory, in them best dress suit, out there to take pictures with the Marleys. That's great. That's great. But what about the work that needs to be done for Rastafari? Like, what about doing the right thing? Y'all are out there taking pictures about one love. Come on, man. The birthplace of the Rastafari movement has been destroyed on your watch. On your watch. How dare you? It, it, it's like the hypocrisy of it all is just mind-blowing to me. Rastafari helped to define Jamaica. Look how much money. Rastafari, not just Bob Marley. And I'm using my words very clearly here. It isn't just Bob Marley that is making all of this money for Jamaica through tourism. That is Rastafari's culture that has been appropriated and exploited to this day by these same political players who are taking pictures and pretending like they're the ones who are embracing Bob Marley. Tell you, never let a politician grant you a favor. So, I'm a whole heap of work to do when it comes down to doing the right thing for the Rastafari movement. Occupy Pinnacle was my first real insight and taste into the bitter gall Jamaican government feels when they think about Rastafari standing up for what we deserve. Oh, sure.